Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video we're going to be making a airsoft mine, kind of like a claymore slash trip mine that you can use in a game or just playing with your friends. Very easy to make, um, cool, and inexpensive. Let's get started. Here are the main things you'll need for this project. You might come across a few small things that we'll need to fill in the gaps when we get there, but mostly for the body of the mine you'll need some piping I have a three piece angle um, the size of this here I believe is inch and a half so an inch and a half angle piece that looks like this along with the 90 degree version and then three pre-cut pieces um, probably about four inches, three inches, and an inch and a half long to construct the body. I'll show you later. Some fisting line, um, tape, a pen with a clip on the side, very important. Wide body highlighter, has to be wider than the width of the pen. A strong elastic. A airsoft grenade, which will be our propellant, pretty much and what we will use to shoot. A keychain ring kind of thing. A nail and some scissors. The first step I'm going to be showing you is how to build the firing assembly. So simply get your pen and if it has a rubber thing at the end just take it off so it's as narrow, narrow as possible. Then remove the lid and end cap along with all the ink out of your highlighter. You won't need those. And what we're going to do is use your scissors and cut off the end of your highlighter where it goes all narrow just like this. A knife would work too of course. And so you're left with something hopefully that looks like just an empty tube which the pen should fit in completely like this and slide most of the way through. Next simply put your pen inside your highlighter tube and measure or I guess align the tip of your pen with the end of your highlighter like that, so not like that, right there. And on this side, mark right where the pen meets the edge of the highlighter, so right where my thumb is. And you're going to put a hole in it using a drill or scissors so the nail can be inserted straight through. Here I have drilled my hole and inserted the nail with a bend in it. I just used some pliers to bend that. So as you can see, it sits nicely top of the highlighter, and later, as you see, this will be pulled out and engage the firing mechanism. So the next step, you can take the pen and nail assembly away. I added some tape to prevent splitting. Um, one more thing you'll need is some tape, some thicker paper or cardboard to wrap the highlighter, just like this, to make it thick enough to fit directly in the center of your inch and a half tubing, nice and snug, and secure it with some tape. So there's the highlighter centered in the tube, and to finish off the firing pin assembly, I replaced the nail with a half unfolded keychain ring, and put an elastic tape to the top, just like that. So that was the hard part, now for the easy part, just to simply make the body. All you do is get in your three piece connector, attach the little piece to the one on a slight angle like so, and then using your T connector, put it like this, which basically makes a stand for your launcher, just like that. And then your longest piece of tubing will go here for the barrel. And in the back, this is face down right now, simply use your loaded grenade shell pointed face down and then assemble your firing assembly by putting the pen inside of the highlighter, the pin in the hole in your pen, that's a tongue twister, and then putting the entire firing assembly on the back of the weapon just like this and we are ready to test it out. Just load up your airsoft grenade and of course to operate this uh, make sure this is held in place somehow as it will be upside down 
and then get your elastic, wrap around that to provide pressure on the firing pin, and attach to the ring. Use your fishing line to set up a trap. I'll show you how it works right now. Here we are outside, there's the trap, and I have my fishing line attached to it, as you can see there. It's just attached. I'll be pulling it from that way and shooting into my forest. Uh, if you were using that, this as an actual trap, you would point it towards the line, obviously, but I don't really feel like shooting 200 BBs at myself right now. So I'm just going to go stand over there, pull it, and show you guys shooting into the distance. Use some bricks to support it so it doesn't get pulled off my little stand there. So I'll point it over here, and let's go pull the fishing line, line and see what happens. Here we go, firing in three, two, one. There you have it guys, hope you heard all those BB shooting into the distance, and obviously if it was pointed towards a person that would work very well. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, give me some more suggestions in the comments below if you have any cool ideas, and as always please like, comment, and subscribe, thanks for watching.